These two cards are actually stuck together. What is happening right now? All right, guys, today we are in the Fangmobile. We're gonna take a ride over to Costco. I heard a rumor that there are some Pokemon tins there. It's been a while since I've seen Costco Pokemon products. Yo! So we're gonna see what they got. So I'm sure that some of you guys have seen the content about some, uh, looks like Fusion Strike, maybe some Evolving Skies, alternate arts and hyper rare pulls and things like that were being stolen directly off of the print press. Uh, and trying to be sold to LGSs. That was under investigation for a while. A lot of people are making content on that. I'll let you guys go dive into some of theirs. Hopefully we get some Evolving Skies today. Allegedly, some of the products that they have there might actually include some Evolving Skies. Not much more to say until we actually get there and see what they have in stock. All right, so here we are at my local Costco. Got my membership card ready. All right, this place is massive. So hopefully they keep everything by the toys. Got a Nintendo Switch on sale OLED version, $3.99. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a regular price. Got some Lego flowers. I've never seen these before. Lego friends, I think we're getting closer. I think I see something around this corner. Let's go. We hit the jackpot. I can't believe there's still so many of these. It looks like they're all the same ones, but I wonder how much these are actually gonna cost. Ah. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's what I've been waiting for. In that case, this one right here has come with us. I think two is just enough today to figure out what kind of packs are in these. All right, let's get out of here. Please begin scanning. You don't have to yell at me. 28.99, 28.99. All right, guys, so I have no idea what packs are in these things, but we're gonna take these back to Fang Manor. We're gonna open them up at the studio and see what we can find. All right, we are back in the studio with not only one, but two sets of stacking tins from Costco. Let me switch over to my card cams so you guys can see what's going on. So uh, one of the best videos I actually had on my channel, surprisingly, was a Costco video. I've been having pretty good luck at the local Costco near me. I don't know about you guys, but yo! It's been pretty solid around here. And uh, yeah, I've actually never opened these stacking tins, so I'm just taking a quick look at them. Little Pikachu there. Why does that Pikachu have a big head? Oh! Quick, uh all right i don't quite understand what they're for i know that they stack Bruh. but let's go ahead and get into these and see what kind of packs are inside so definitely different packs than i think were listed online because I, i'm pretty sure brilliant stars was not on that list but it looks like we got our three packs it's got like a zero aura coin right there fusion strike controversial but one of my favorite sets and an evolving sky, so really not bad, guys. $3.22 a pack. So that's pretty crazy, but I'm actually gonna switch the order of these. Start off with this fusion strike, and we're gonna rip down the line here and see if we can get anything good. So starting right off the bat, you guys are getting code cards all throughout the video, so definitely stick around for those. Pack trick, we are back to the pack trick. No more scarlet and violet, not in today's video, maybe in a future video. Cross Switch, Garbodor, Marsh Stomp, Caterpie, let's go straight through this one, Baneary, Basculin, Swampert, wait, it's stuck, it's actually stuck, whatever it is, it's stuck to it, these two cards are actually stuck together, what is happening right now, why won't these come apart, yo, there we go, Dancer was being a little shy on the dance floor, oh brother, this guy stinks! But um, I will say Fusion Strike was very, very good to me. If you've been here for a while, you guys know I speak highly of the Fusion Strike. One, two, three, four. I've always had pretty good pulls from it. Maybe not the best pull rate, but I have gotten some pretty insane bangers here on the channel. Sock, Cherubi, Riolu, Starly, Tomb, Rapid Strike, Urshifu, VMAX. There we go, in the Trainer Gallery and a Tornadus. I don't know how these are gonna hold up long-term. I know that the value of these dropped really, really quickly when the sets actually came out. It's a, it's a very interesting situation. All right, let's see if we can get anything good from Evolving Skies. I have pulled a fair amount of Evolutions alt arts from Evolving Skies here on the channel. Make sure to uh, hit that like button for some good luck, ghosty energy, as we get our buddy Sableye right there. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to make my best Pokemon content over here. Emolga, Reverse, and a Talent Flame. Here we go. Code card going out. One, two, three, four. If I haven't done this in the last few videos, I've really been meaning to do it. 
big shout out and a thank you to Canto Kurt on YouTube. If you guys don't know who Canto Kurt is, definitely go hit him with that subscribe button or uh, he would say, drop a like, drop, drop a subscribe um, on his channel. He's making great Pokemon content and growing by the day, Galarian Cursola, any greeting to be, I don't know why I say Cursola, uh, recently broke the curse. Recently, I pulled something. I don't know if that video is going to be out yet either. I'm just mentioning a lot of videos that aren't out yet. It's great job. Great job, Pokefang. But I did uh, manage to break the curse pretty recently. Um, I, I, if you guys don't know, I pulled or I opened tons of brilliant stars for the longest time trying to pull basically anything above just an ultra rare or like a low end full, full art and uh couldn't do it Wormadam finally just recently picked up a box of, of um brilliant stars because it was in stock at my local uh, gaming store xp collect and uh lo and behold it had the rainbow zard in it so still hunting the alternate art but i will take the alternate art charizard v to be more specific um but I am uh, very happy with that rainbow pull. So you can get here Hippopotas and an Altaria Motive. Shouldn't even have to ask, but if you are seeing Pokemon in your Costco, or if you've seen anybody going into Costco and buying up all of your Pokemon cards, I think that's messed up. I don't know why people are doing that. They think they can scalp it. I guess they can technically, but come on, man. It's, it's, it's paper. Just let people open their paper. Just let us open our paper in peace. Blue score and a Maractus. So I've been thinking about um, expanding the content here on the channel, and you guys gotta let me know what you think of this. Uh, I might, I might, I'm not entirely sure, but I might start gaming on this channel. Uh, just for fun, maybe do a live stream once a week or something like that, um, just to see, you know, see how that's different. Maybe you guys can help me out. I am pretty terrible notoriously at the video games. Ariados, Trainer Gallery, and a Luxray not hollow. I am notoriously bad at the video games. Uh, I do manage to beat them. It just takes me probably 25 times longer than it does the average person. Uh, I'm sure my gameplay hours are, you know, realistically at least double what the average person has put in to get where I'm at in the game. Lightning energy, shell gone, shopping center, no. Marip, Zoro. Tentacool, Hopip, Dino, Jump Fluff, Reverse Rare, and it in Melodic. I don't know why I said it in the Melodic. Oh, what's going on? Tongue tied. Got that look of tongue today. All right. Go card. Going out. One, two, three, four. I declare Thumb War, Fire Energy, Shauna, Victini. Wow, it feels kind of crazy opening Fusion. Fusion Strike actually feels. This is so weird. Fusion Strike actually does feel like an older set at this point. Veneri, Lavapus, Octricity Reverse, and an Arcan, not hollow. But yeah, the pack selection in these tins is actually a little bit broken. Like these packs are insane. Brilliant Stars is one of those sets that the individual packs are, I don't know how much they are at this point, maybe five or six dollars uh, each. But the fact that the, um, Spend about sixty dollars, like what's the math on that? Fifty-eight dollars or something like that on these tins, and just the evolving skies packs alone inside are worth forty-seven dollars. So definitely check out your local Costco, see if they have any in stock. Moltres reverse and a Barrel Hollow, and even if you don't see them on the shelves. Uh, definitely grab someone who's wearing a Costco shirt. Don't physically grab them, but get their attention. And uh, see if they have anything in the back or if they, or discount, if they uh, are aware of, maybe they're somewhere else in the store that you just didn't see. Because I know personally, every time I've gone to Costco and looked for Pokemon cards, they've been in a different location and a very obscure location that was kind of hard to find. All right, we got another jump off reverse rare. And the dreaded smear goal. Man. Smear goals? Is it smear goals or smear 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 guy? I don't know. One, two, three, four. Something is absolutely damaged on the top of that card. Let's hope it's nothing good. I think that's actually technically uh not. Ooh, 
low key hit right there. Check your bulk. Graveler, Indeedy, Growlithe, Phalanx, Morpeko, Mirgle, Shroomish Reverse. Ah, oh, Swampert Hollow. I don't know why, but I had a good feeling about that pack. Sometimes the good feelings and the good luck ghosties play tricks on you, you know? That's what they do. There we go. Code card going out. One, two, three, and four. I declare a more Leaf Energy, Blunder Policy, Torkoal, Double Turbo Energy. I think this was uh, going for quite a bit too in the bulk. Weasel, Gibble, Trap Inch, Execute, Snow Run, Reverse, and a Heat Print. Non Hollow Rare. Coming down to just the last four packs here, guys. Hopefully, we can get something. We had some, uh, some fire pulls in the beginning and then it just really slowed down. Three, four. Okay. Leaf energy again. You know what? We haven't gotten good luck ghosty energy in a while, and that's probably why. Probably why. Rubber gloves. La Bebe. La Bebe's kids. You guys remember Baby's kids? Chin Chow, Flappy Reverse, and a Gigalith. Non hollow rare. These must be the packs. These must be the packs that we saw those cards from. That's what it is. Some of them got through. That's why we got some pulls in the beginning, but the rest of them must have been from those. <laughs> All right, so we got good luck, Ghosty Energy, purple vibes in the building. Put that in the wrong bulk pile. All right, Howlucha, Draclope, Corvus Squire, Choodle, Bullaby, Dupider, Meowth, Onyx, Victini. Oh, Victini is a uncommon in Fusion Strike. I guess I forgot that. And a Chili, Cillin, and Cress. So things might be heating up in these last two packs, and they are two of the better sets. Do a little voodoo here, see if we can get something. A Charizard V Altar. No. All right, Evolving Skies, last pack. Let's see what we can get and do a quick recap. All right, boom, code card. One, two, three, and four. Uh, I will say the Evolving Skies that I've been seeing get, get, get given being get given away uh, and uh, sold recently, ripped on stream and things like that have been very light. It's been really tough to watch and tough to uh, take part in a lot of those breaks because it's just such a such a tough set. Galarian Zapdos, reverse, and come on, man.